Hey, what's going on YouTube? Today we're going to be doing things a little bit different. As you can see here, it's a different looking key. Oh, Ace Gen Civic SI, completely stock, as you can see. Let's uh, see how it rides. Getting in here. So I have not been in an HN Civic SI for quite a while now, and man, must I say, it feels good to be back. Now I know what you're wondering. You're probably saying, wow, what happened to your 19 Civic SI? Did you trade it in, blah, blah, blah. Answer to that is no, I did not trade it in. This is just, I'm driving it for the time being, and uh, don't worry, my 9 Gen is in good hands. Um, I just did a quick little trade, so I'm driving this for the time being. I missed the whole like setup. I don't know, the thing about the HN and the is that when I would sit inside both, the HN feels more like I'm sitting in the car compared to the 9 it feels like I'm sitting more on the car. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys, but um, I'm not sure if it's because I have the sedan version or not, and this is a coupe but it feels like I'm actually sitting in the car and, and getting this whole, you know, uh, two-tier dash experience. So maybe that could be it, but I must say it feels good to be back. And one thing I do miss is uh, revving all the way up there to uh, eight grand. <laughs> I do miss that. Um, not saying my car is bad, but uh, it's uh, pretty cool, pretty fun. So uh, let's see how this thing drives. Guys, this feels so good. It feels good to be back in the HN Civic SI. You know, driving, coming from a full bolt-on the tuned car, going to a fully stock car, um, it is a different driving experience. I gotta tell you that. Not in a bad way, the car just feels a lot more tamed. And I know this car has way more potential than uh, where it's at right now. The uh, clutch pedal is a bit firmer, but the agent has always been like that, so. Here we go. Well, this seems like a good spot to do it. Right, let me put the window down a little bit for you guys, if you guys can hear this. Holy shit. <laughs> that feels really, really good. <laughs> The car actually picks up quicker than I remember when I had uh, my stock H jack. Hang on, let me turn around here and we'll have another go. We'll just do a quick turn around. And go, VTEC! Whoa! <laughs> That's really fun. So, the purpose of this video is to talk about the difference between a 8th gen Civic SI and 9th gen Civic SI which one would you buy yada 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 which one is better which one is easier which one is more fun which one is a better daily driver all of that stuff um, I've had both of them I've had the 8th gen for a little bit under a year until it got totaled I missed that car it was fun to drive then I have the 9th gen for over one year now so and that's full bolt on and tuned. I've driven a full bolt on and tuned H gen. That's also really, really fun. Top end is super strong in terms of uh, comparing it to, to the uh, ninth gen here. In terms of which one is cheaper, your better option is going with the H gen Civic SI. Um, in terms of modding, which one has more potential, again, better to go with the H gen Civic SI. And that is because you already have an RBC on the car. For the nitrogen to even become quick or to be considered quick, in my opinion, you need the RBC swap because it just doesn't hold up as much. Um, after fourth gear, the car just goes flat. It doesn't necessarily have any character after that. Now this car in fourth gear, fifth, sixth, it still carries that on. And gearing on each, I do believe the gearing on this one is slightly a bit shorter in the higher gears, but that's just to compensate for the uh, less torque that it has compared to the 9 Gen Civic SI. Um, which one is more fun to drive? This one, I can tell you that, has character. 9 Gen, not so much. Until you start modding it, then it has quite a bit of character, and I love the torque on it. In terms of daily driving, I would say the 9 Gen Civic SI is a better deal because of the extra torque and I do have the sedan version so all the extra space does come in handy 
when I need to take passengers, fa friends, family members around town, um, running a few errands here and there. So that is something to note. Daily driver, Nanjing Civic Asai is uh, not a bad car. I think I would prefer that over the HN, but in terms of uh, cheap to uh, hook up or performance wise, HN is the best bang for buck. With these cars, simple intake headers exhaust, and uh, flash platoon and you are done. For 8th, for ninth gen, I'm sorry, uh, you've got to do the RBC swap, RBC swap like I mentioned and uh, you got to upgrade injectors and I have an upgraded throttle body and all that other good stuff and that's only making as much power as this with full bolts on so I have to do more just to get it to where it's at to compete with or if not beat one of these. Um, the only good thing is that I love that extra torque it has and obviously the added features and all the other good stuff but uh, this car really is something special especially when you rev up to that eight grand um, it's really really nice it's a good feeling it's a nicely clean r6 wow that thing looks really good in terms of reliability both of them are pretty reliable um, i don't have complaints for any of them maintenance is about the same also, I know I did uh, a couple wide open throttles in this video. If you want to see me do wide open throttles of my Nanjing Civic Asai, then go ahead and uh, go through my channel and you'll see a couple videos there. Click on those to get a better idea of what it's like. But yeah, this car is really nice. I mean, I like it. Another thing, um, in terms of uh, sound system, I prefer the 8th gen over the 9th. And that's simply because the factory subwoofer and the factory system on this is it has a lot more power compared to the ninth when i first got the ninth i would notice that uh, i would turn the volume up and there's a lack of bass i don't necessarily feel the music compared to this one if music is something big in your life when you're driving cars and stuff then you might want to look more into the hn civic simply for that uh better factory um setup so nine gen it's a nice car it's just there's a lot of little things you have to uh, tweak and fix in order to get it to a nice package of where it's at today, at least for my car at least. So guys, if at any point in time you enjoyed this video, please give me a like, a thumbs up, share, rate, comment, subscribe, all of the good stuff. I will be making future videos of uh, my 9th gen and more videos of the H if you want me to. It's been fun driving this car and uh, hope to see you on the next one. Peace.